Hello, my name is Guillermo Leal, and I'm going to be talking about a plugin that I wrote for 3 Studio Max to vectorize images. All right, once the plugin is installed, you go at the top here on GTools, Image Vectorizer, and let's load an image so we can do some uh, demonstration. All right. The first thing is that you must select what kind of vectorizing do you want, either outline or center line. For example, this is an outline tracing, and these two are center line vectorizing or tracing. All right, and once you load an image, the image gets converted to black and white, and before the, uh, the plugin can vectorize the image, we need to do some image processing. So first, let's select a smaller, smaller area so we can do it a little bit faster. The first thing is the threshold, uh, which enables you to select which pixel you want to threshold or to remove. In the case of this image, uh, because of the way the colors are, uh, we need to use the high pass filter so we can get a, an outline of the black pixels, which are the ones that are get vectorized. And let's modify here a little bit the parameters. Yeah, that's something that will work for us. Right now, for something like this, we want to use a, an outline. For center line, maybe cat plans or drawings, then you will use a thinning. And I will show you that after we trace this one. All right. Get this uh, spline. And at first glance, it looks like it's all low resolution and stir-like uh, spline. And the reason is that uh, the bitmaps are made out of uh, square pixels. So this is what we get. But there are a few things that we can do to smooth things out. The first thing is that they are always going to be super heavy. So we want to do some optimizing. And maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's do something like this. All right. And now that the spline is much smaller, but we get this really bad spline. So we want to do some interpolation to smooth things out. All right. Uh, and that's not so bad. And we can also do more smoothing. Oh, it's hard to see on this shape. I'll, I'll try on uh, different samples in the angle ch check. This one is really important. Uh, but let's try another image so you can see more clearly the effect. Slow this uh, from a, an Adidas logo. For this one, we don't need a uh, high pass. All right. The same, we get a lot of pixels, so we do uh, optimize. Uh, it's a lot smaller. We interpolate it. But this is what I was talking about, that once you interpolate, then some parts get uh, interpolated that we don't want. So we want to enable the angle check. And then it's going to respect the right angles. You can see here that it's not smoothing much. so. We want to use uh, the minimum distance, which is uh, the distance between uh, the vertex that you want to smooth. So, for example, if we go below one pixel, you're going to see the staircase again. So, let's try something bigger. That's, uh, I went too high. All right, that's something that will work. And the smoothing. It depends on the shape that you are working, but if you smooth things out, you're going to see that it, create, 
makes the spline smoother. So it depends on what you are uh, vectorizing or tracing. All right, uh, let me go back to the eagle. I want to show you something. And let's select the small area. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and let's optimize it. This parameter, when you try something really big, uh, you might end up with the uh, splines that you don't want. Let's say these one small ones. So if you increase this number, splines below 11 vertex are gonna get removed. So that's a uh, handy things to have. I wanna talk about a little bit about uh, interactively changing parameters. Examples lists, trace the complete uh, image. As you can see, it takes uh, a little bit longer when you work on large images. All right. Here, uh, it shows us the number of vertex before and after optimization. So we have a little bit uh, over 120-100. And this button here, it, if it's uh, checked, and it means blue, anything you change, is going to change interactively. So, so let's say, for example, that I optimize. If the trace is below 1500, it will still show the progress bar. So let's say I change a little bit. You get this spline drawing uh, progress bar. Now that becomes a bit tedious when you have a huge trace, but let's say we're over 1500. Now when it's over 1500, I can change any parameter and it's not going to show the progress bar. But let's say we are, it's a bigger image and the trace is always above 1500. Every time you check a parameter, you're going to get the progress bar because it takes a while on a huge uh, trace, this becomes very tedious. So you might want to turn off this, modify anything that you might need, and then turn it on. That's why I suggest when you are doing tests, you do a small trace. And then it can be done uh, much faster all the time. So I can change, uh, it's gonna be below 1500, so I can change everything interactively. Once I'm happy, I can just go ahead and change the size. The last thing that I want to mention is that you can use a deep shape on any max shape. Just make sure that if it's one of the standard to the max shapes you convert it to an into a speed line all right just select here and pick shape select any shape in max and you can modify it as any other shape you can optimize it smooth it One thing that I uh, didn't mention before I go about is that as you can see the lines are straight, you can change the mode here and they're gonna get a uh, curve. And this same angle check also affects the drawing. All right, uh, thanks for watching.